Welcome to Mineral Ridge, Idaho. On the shores of Lake Coeur d'Alene. This is one of the most popular trails in the area. As usual, I'm blessed to do it on a weekday. Whoop. Well, and in the middle of winter, so. And early in the morning. So hopefully, we'll have a bit less traffic. Um, and frankly, if you're new to an area, why not do the most popular stuff? They're the most popular for a reason. And it's not like I'm gonna be here again for a while, so might as well get it knocked out. Anyway, this is normally a, uh, a pretty short loop, about three miles. I might do that, uh, but I've got some maps that I'm gonna see if I can potentially extend the loop. Uh, you can connect it with some forest roads and some other trails and do a much larger loop of the area. But for now, welcome to Idaho. It's an old mining cave. The uh, Mineral Ridge name begins to make a lot more sense now. We won't be going in. It's looking like it's going to be a pretty beautiful day. We're off that main loop trail now. We're still on, you know, the Mineral Ridge area, but we're off the, the trail. And on to spur trails now. Instead of super icy, packed down snow, we're on to fresh snow that I'm post holding through, so I'm thankful to wear these gaiters. And we're getting much better views. Rabbit tracks. <laughs> Some chopped firewood. And we've hit a forest road, which explains the firewood. The camp spot.
I really should have brought snowshoes for this. I definitely didn't need them on the trail trail. It's all packed down ice there, but nobody's walked where I'm walking for quite some time. And it's just post holding through the snow over and over again. Very powdery snowshoes would have been fabulous here. Just like I'm wading through water. This is where I turn around, I think. I haven't made it anywhere in particular. I'm just standing in the middle of an old logging road. But that's part of the reason I'm turning around is there's nowhere to go. I can keep exploring, which is wonderful. And it's been really cool so far. But the snow is just too deep. I really need snowshoes or skis or something. Back to the far side of the loop now. With a much more up close and personal view of the lake. All right, we made it back to the fork of the loop. So that'll just about do it for this little adventure. Thanks for coming along with me.